wow, okay, interruption. <laughs> Jay, and today I'm here with my October favorites for 2018. It was my birthday in October, so a lot of the stuff are just presents that I received because I'm spoiled. So without further ado, let us get started. I guess I'll talk about the presents I got first because they're the things I'm most excited about. So the first thing that I got was from my mom and dad and it is my new Fitbit. It is the HR Alta and it's like the newest one I think. They wanted to replace my old Fitbit because it was super old and falling apart and really chunky so my mom wanted to get me one that was more like feminine. I really like this one and it's cool because it tells me my heart rate except my heart rate is always like a hundred. My heart rate right now is 110 and my resting heart rate is 79 so I feel like I'm just always like super excited about everything normal people's resting heart rates are like 68 or something so mine is just super high all the time and I don't know if that's unhealthy or not but hey maybe I'm just super excitable we don't know. The next thing was from my best friend Abigail. She is such a little sweetheart. I have an obsession with coffee but I only drink iced coffee so I always have like these sippy cups and so she got me a Starbucks matte black like my soul sippy cup and I love it so much. It's so much better than all my other like sippy cups like this because it's like insulated so it actually keeps the coffee really cold and the ice cubes actually don't melt in 5.6 seconds. So I love this. It's also just ginormous and I've always wanted a Starbucks sippy cup because I just think that they're so aesthetically pleasing and she just knew to get me the black one. So thank you so much to Abigail. She doesn't watch my videos but Thank you anyways, girl. Love you. The next present is from my brother. I have an obsession with the movie Hocus Pocus. So the next three things are actually all Hocus Pocus related. My brother got me this adorable Winifred mug. I am obsessed with it. It is so cute. And as soon as I opened it, I was like, well, I can't drink from it. Like, I don't want to ruin it. So my mom had the idea to put all my bookmarks in it. So she's a smart cookie. But thank you to my brother for my Winifred mug. I'm obsessed. And the next two things I actually bought myself just because I'm obsessed with Hocus Pocus. Spirit Halloween has a Fungal Pop collection for Hocus Pocus. So I picked up Winifred and Mary Fungal Pops. I couldn't find Sarah anywhere. I checked back literally every single Wednesday because that's when they got their shipments in and they never had Sarah, which is my favorite Sanderson sister. So I'm really upset about it, but hopefully I can find it online or something. I checked Amazon and they're like $50 for the Sarah Funko Pop and your girl does not have $50 to spend on a Funko Pop, so hopefully I'll find her somewhere, maybe next year, I don't know, but my collection isn't complete and it's really upsetting, but I love them both so much. The next thing I want to talk about is two books that I absolutely loved this month so much. The first one is a sequel, so like I'm not gonna talk about it too much, but it is Lair of Dreams by Libba Bray. This is the sequel to the Diviners, which I read last year and absolutely loved so much. So I don't know why it took me so long to read this one. Probably just because it's so dang big. I still really need to read the third book. I do not own it. So when is that going to happen? We don't know. I'm obsessed with this story and this world and I just need more. And then the second book that I am obsessed with this month is called Lying in Wait and it's by Liz Nungit. And I honestly think that I found a new favorite author. This book was such a mind fuck. It's about a woman named Lydia whose life seems to be perfect. She has a husband who is a very high Supreme Court judge. She lives in a beautiful mansion and her son Lawrence is the apple of her eye. And that's when Lawrence discovers a very big secret that Lydia and her husband have been hiding since the night they met Annie Doyle. I'm just going to read the tagline of the book and hopefully that will get you guys hooked and wanting to read this book. But it says, my husband did not mean to kill Annie Doyle but the lying tramp deserved it. Like, what? Y'all need to read this book. It is just a whole roller coaster of emotions, but highly recommend it. Next, I want to talk about a movie that I saw. This probably won't come to a surprise to all the booktubers out there, but I went to go see Thug, 
and it was incredible. It is such an important movie. I'm not going to get into what it's all about because everybody knows what Thug is about, but highly, highly, highly recommend you guys go check it out if you have not watched it yet, which, like, why haven't you? It is so, so good and powerful and just watch it please. The next two things I'm going to talk about are food related because duh on this channel. Obviously they're both junk food because I don't eat healthy food. <laughs> the first thing is a recipe that my mom and I found on Facebook, like the Tasty Treats Facebook page. Y'all know what I'm talking about. They make videos and stuff. We call it Chex Mex Party Mix because it doesn't have a name. I kind of just put it into a little bag because we made a giant ass container of it and I didn't want to bring that all the way upstairs. But it's basically Bugles, Pretzels, Chex Cereal, and Smarties, but you can put like any chocolate kind of candy in. You take butter, brown sugar, and vanilla extract and you mix it all together and you bake it in the oven for 45 minutes and then you put the chocolate in and it is just so delicious. I'll try to find the video again and post it down below. If you really want the recipe, like maybe Google it if I can't find it, but hopefully I do. But guys, it is so addictive. I can't stop eating it. The next food item I have is called Coconut Cashew Crunch. It kind of remind me of peanut brittle, but cashew with coconut and sea salt and like, they're just so good. I found them at Costco. I have no idea where else you can get them, but I know they're available at Costco, so definitely recommend because delicious. And now for my favorite part of my favorites video, when I get to lip sync very poorly to the songs I've been loving this month. If you guys are new on this channel, then you don't know about my obsession with John Bellion, but John Bellion is my favorite singer in the entire world. I have an obsession with him, and he's releasing a new album November 9th, and you know your girl is way too excited. He released one of his songs from the new album this month and I have been listening to it on repeat. I'm obsessed with it. It's called Conversations with My Wife and here it is. I think he's so underrated. Nobody knows who he is, but he is just such an angel baby unicorn and a gift to this world. So if you guys have not listened to John Bellion before, I highly recommend listening to like literally every song he's ever made. And he writes all his own music. He does all the like soundtracks behind it. He is just... Oh, I love him so much. All right, guys, so that is my October favorites for 2018. Let me know down below a couple of your favorites and what you've been loving this month, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.